Welcome back to Pape Toolkit. Today we're gonna go over the Ego pressure washer that's 3,200 PSI, 1.2 gallons per minute. Let's get after it. All right, for the most part, when I do these Ego reviews, I actually haven't used the product before. But in this particular circumstance, I did use this piece of equipment the other day. I used it to wash my tractor. I got it a little more dirty, so we're gonna go ahead and use it again today to clean it up. But I wanted to go over some of the features that you can find on this machine. And some of the things that really don't get mentioned too much in the, in the book, um, whereas some of the things that I really noticed as I have my own gas powered pressure washer that this one has that, that mine does not. First, I'm gonna, uh, I'll show you, you know, this wand is obviously easily stored on the side, so that's pretty nice. But I'm gonna tell you, this feature right here, and I think we'll find this on other pressure washers, but the fact that my hose went, go, won't get all curled up when I'm pressure washing um, is worth its weight in gold. I don't think there's any reason that this isn't actual real gold here, but maybe it's brass. But anyway, long and short, I really, really like that feature. Um, the, the storage capability, you know, when you talk about storage and ease of use, all of your different heads, so uh, 15, 40, 25, and the turbo uh, rotational head are all housed right on the top. So that's really nice, convenient, easy to use. Again, my wand that is an easy connect wand right there on the side. Just put my tip on and I'm ready to go. Press the power button and we're here to go. Again, one of the things that makes the Ego product so unique is the batteries. We've got two 56 volt, six amp hour batteries right on board. And again, that's the nice thing about this is I can take these out, throw them into my zero turn, go mow my lawn, come back, wash my zero turn off with this awesome pressure washer. So really cool. And it's all housed in this nice compartment where I've got a, 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 a luggage style handle that I can probably take this to the, uh, through the airport next time I'm going to uh, Seattle. So let's get into a little bit more detail on this wand. So I've got a nice LED panel that shows me when it lights up um, all of the features. It also shows me how much battery I have left. Uh, additionally, I have the ability to control the turbo mode right here on one easy button. There's a little battery right underneath here that obviously talks and communicates with um, my pressure washer system. So that's how it's getting that, that information back and forth. I've got a lockout feature so I can lock this on and off. Um, the handle is rubberized, so it's got a nice, great ergonomic feel. Uh, won't slip out of your hands when you're getting all wet and dirty. Um, pretty cool wand, definitely a nice feature. Um, looks pretty modern and, and, and pretty cool as well. And it gets stored right on the side, so easy to, easy to store. Um, let's talk about the model itself. Again, this durable, hard, um, outside casing uh, definitely seems like it's going to last quite a bit, quite a long time. Um, just a few buttons up here that are really easy to, to control. You got the power button and then that turbo speed button if you want to go ahead and get into turbo mode, if you don't want to press it on your wand. And then all I have to do is hook up my garden hose and hook up my actual wand hose and pretty much ready to go. Enough of me talking about it. Let's go ahead and put this thing together and get working. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wand together. I'm gonna to select a tip. I'm gonna go with a nice wide tip just to get the tractor all wet. If I wanted to, I could put the soap feature attachment on there. All it is is a canister that will allow me to applicate soap on there. That does come with the kit. The only thing I gotta do now, turn on the power. And spray. As you notice, it's pretty nice and quiet. I will show, I will share the average decibel reading on my decibel uh, meter right here is about 77.9, and that's probably most of me talking. Uh, it maxed out at 98.9, so nice and quiet. This thing is pretty quiet, but I am gonna throw on my ear protection and my eye protection just for a little added safety, and let's get washing this tractor. Again, at this point, at this point, I'm just wetting it down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip out my uh, different tip. 
I'll put a go ahead and put the 15. This is the most aggressive, so I'm not going to use this on, on, on paint components, but I do want to go ahead and try it on that tire. As you can see, that 3200 PSI works really well. Let's kick it into turbo mode. All right, there's turbo. In summary, this unit kind of stacks up really well against most of the residential uh, gas units that I've used in the past. Um, it's great, nice little package. Um, the layout, the form factor is, is absolutely on par. Um, it is a nice product and I'm glad to see it enter our lineup. Um, if you've got any questions about this product or products like it, please put those comments down below. I want you to know that we're still learning all the time about these products and your questions help us as well. Uh, if you liked this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we look forward to bringing you more content like this in the future. Thanks for joining us on Pape Toolkit. Hi, my name is Jason Hughes. I'm a territory manager out of Eugene, Oregon. I'm also a large property owner and own a lot of the equipment that you see featured in these videos. I hope you find this content helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below.